Welcome to Tooltech Geek. Today I'm going to talk about a custom attachment for the Roxon Flex. It is 3D printed. The Roxon Flex comes with a quarter inch bit driver that can only store one bit. So I wanted to find a way to carry more of them. There isn't a lot of room in the tool itself to carry more than let's say just one bit. So I'm trying to think and see can I make an attachment that's a little bit outside of the handle but you can still use it so when I open the pliers it still will not be in the way I can use the pliers first step was to take some measurements because I'm going to design a part to be 3D printed so after that I 3D print a first a prototype and it was very terrible First of all, I printed it with supports. It was a lot of work to remove those supports. Moreover, I used the wrong orientation such that it was a very weak piece. So I learned quite a bit on how not to do this attachment. And there were other issues too. The uh, most important was there's no room for deploying the screwdriver because I had too much stuff uh, in the way so I had to completely redesign the part this is the second one I did many changes I make a smaller part that goes outside and also is printed at a different angle such that the piece is much stronger and also doesn't need uh, so much uh, support so it's much easier to print and it has a space there so you can open up the screwdriver that I didn't have that before now these are the spaces where you can store the bits there is room for two extra ones Here's what it looks like. It has enough room to deploy the screwdriver, so that's great. And you can exchange bits. The question is can you use the pliers when that's on? And yes is just enough, uh, big enough that you can use the pliers there's probably some improvements to be made but I was uh, pretty happy with the result now I can carry this and uh, use uh, extra bit drivers now one uh, problem with this is it is using one of the spaces for long tools so that basically uh, takes too much space for a long tool so the question would be is there a way to do this differently maybe on the other side I could use a short tool space and that way I would have a, a two long tools in the entire multi-tool so I think there's uh, room for many uh, improvements but uh, I was happy I think this looks uh, pretty promising to uh, do something uh, more refined probably and if I do that I'll make another video this is the final result we have multiple bits in a Roxon Flex it's a little strange that it uh, protrudes outside of the tool but nevertheless uh, it's pretty good. Let me know what you think and um, any suggestions to improve it. Thank you for watching.